Howdy. Why did I just go like fucking Woody? I don't know. Anyway, uh, hello all. I hope you're all keeping safe. Um, obviously the virus. It's a, it's a very scary time. Absolutely. Um, I'm in the UK. We're on lockdown for three weeks. So, I thought I'd make a video because... I've got nothing else to do. I can't go outside and do anything. So I'm here. Howdy again. <clears throat> okay, so if you remember a few months ago, I made a video about my Keanu Reeves collection. And as I've got nothing else to film, I'm going to give you an update because I have got some new stuff and I want to show you all the new stuff I've got. So it's like a follow walk. Some of the stuff I have got, I think I've shown you it before, in my last video. I can't remember. It was a few months ago. A lot's happened since then. So, um, yeah, let's address the elephant in the room. I don't know why I brought this, but why not? You know, it, it, it fits in with the collection, so he's here. You know, he's going to be here. Let's let's get over that. Let's get that out of the way. <clears throat> okay, so we're just going to jump straight in. Okay. Oh, yes. First thing is my hat. It's Arch Motorcycle Company. And for people that don't know who Arch Motorcycle Company are, Keanu is actually the founder of the company. And I was lucky enough to get a hat so I'm, I'm very yes this is like my prized possession now and I've been wearing it since I got it yesterday believe it or not um so yeah I thought why not I'm just gonna wear it now because I feel cool and <laughs> okay um I've got so much stuff I don't know what to start with okay <clears throat> We're going to start with my first ever Funko Pop. This is the only Keanu one I've got at the minute. I've tried to look for the others. Believe you me, I am. And I'm still searching. This is my first one. And this is Duke Kaboom from Toy Story 4. If you didn't know, Keanu voices Duke in Toy Story 4. So if you don't believe me, you can go and look it up. But I know, okay? I know these things. Um, I got this from the Disney shop where I live in the UK. I don't know if other countries have a Disney store. I've never really looked when I've gone travelling. <clears throat> but, um, maybe I should look. Anyway, um, on the back you see you can all get the other ones. Woody, Bo Peep, Gabby Gabby. No, you don't have to get Duke. I'm just saying. Though there are others available. <laughs> advertising now um i do have another funko pop but it's not a keanu one but i'm going to show you it anyway because i don't know okay uh this one's so cool this is my iron maiden eddie pop funko this one is uh the number of the beast again there's four other ones available so um I've got to collect those ones too. But they're the only pops I own. I, I need to do better. I see this. Uh, so one I follow on Instagram. Called Rolly. He's got like a big mountain for all of them. And uh, I want to be like that. <laughs> um, I think I've shown this one in my last video. I forgot it was months ago. A lot's happened. Um, this was my first ever John Wick action figure. Um... This was £20 from eBay. It comes with like changeable hands and stuff like that. Uh, you can swap his head. It comes with guns. Let me show you the back. So yeah, this was the first one I ever got. Um, and again, he is one of the uh, very prized possessions here in my life. <laughs> okay. Uh... This is one of the newest additions 
to the collection and it's Keanu in Cyberpunk 2077 as Johnny Silverhand. Uh, this is my action figure of him. So cool. There's the Cyberpunk 2077, Johnny Silverhand. And it is indeed Keanu. So that's cool as well. Um, I could be wrong here. I think he was around about £20 as well. Um, he's from Forbidden Planet, which is a shop I shop a lot in, in uh, Leicester, where I live. Um, for the sheer fact, it has a lot of Keanu stuff. Um, and a lot of my stuff has come from there. Um, I got a, if you've ever seen the movie Labyrinth for David Bowie, I got Jareth um, as well. Um, I get a lot of my stuff from there. They do a lot of movie stuff, a lot of comic books and stuff as well. So it's kind of a cool shop. They do have a website. If you just go and Google and type in Forbidden Planet shop, it will come up. So you can go check out the website. They've got loads of really cool, amazing stuff on there. And that was one of the newest editions. Okay. These were also from Forbidden Planet. And these are my Bill and Ted pin badges. Uh, Bill and Ted's Excellent Adventure. Obviously, you can get the other ones. They are also available. Um, but I think when I went in the store, the guy told me that um, they didn't have the other sets in yet. But if maybe if you go on the website, you'll find them. I don't know. But um, I only wanted this one because obviously Keanu's there. Um, and you know I need to get them for my collection. It's very important. I take my collection very seriously. Oh, and uh, talking about collection, this is my little John Wick Lego action figure necklace as well. I got this from eBay too. I don't remember how much it was. I'm sorry, I've slept since then. <clears throat> um, this is my little Duke uh, action figure. The only reason he's out of the box is because he came in one of those, you know, like the open boxes. Uh, uh, you know the ones, I mean, they haven't got the plastic on them or anything. Um, he came with Forky. No offence to Forky fans. I didn't want Forky. I just wanted Duke. So, I've got Duke. He does come with his helmet as well, which is still on my shelf. I'm not going over to get it because I've got all my stuff out on my bed. So, that's him. This was from a shop called... The Entertainer in Leicester as well, like a big toy shop sort of thing. And I needed him. It's Keanu and it's fabulous. Okay. I'm going to get the big stuff out of the way, I think. Oh. Another one of my prized possessions is my other John Wick action figure. This one comes with the dog and the queen. I, oh my god, so cool. Uh, this one was also from Forbidden Planet. He was £30, um, and one of the best £30 I've ever spent, so there we go. He is one of my favourites, I love him so much, oh, I nearly dropped him, that wouldn't have been good. Going back to Cyberpunk 2077, if you don't know what it is, it's a game that's coming out, I believe in, it's meant to be coming out next month, but I don't know if it's going to be delayed due to the coronavirus, but, uh, anyway, <coughs> I've got another Johnny Silverhand, this one's really heavy actually, um, but there he is, it's uh, like a, can I call it a statue, I'm going to call it, it says it's not a toy anyway, <laughs> so I'm going to call it my little statue, it's super heavy actually, um, I think this was about, for 30 pounds it could have been 40 actually i don't know i forgot but that's him he's really really heavy so i'm gonna put him down in a second but there's the box as well so again that's super cool oh oh i never knew that was on there girl that's nice okay <laughs> i need to stop um, I think I've shown these in my last video, but these are my uh, own pencils that I made. Um, I got the inspiration from obviously John Wick 2. 
Um, I made them myself, you know, I'm talented. <laughs> but here they are. I made it with just some pen pencils I picked up from my local like pound shop or dollar store if you're American. Um, I got some Halloween prop blood that I... Well, what I did first, I'm trying to think my process through. I got some PVA glue and I painted on some PVA glue. Then what I did is I went over with the blood spray and it turned out amazing. And Well, obviously it turned out amazing because this is what they look like. I also made my own... Oh no, go, you stand up. I also made my own little jar to put them in because I can and I will. They can go up there, they're quite small. Um, clothing. I think I shown this in my last video too. Yes, I did. Um, my John Wick hoodie. It has this on the front and also on the back. On the back. <laughs> um, I got this from Amazon. Had a lot of problems getting it, but we got it in the end. Um, I don't remember how much it was because I bought it maybe, la yeah, sometime last year, uh, so I can't remember, but, um, yeah, it was on Amazon, I, th I just literally typed in John Wick hoodie and it came up, so, <gasps> one moment, I also have a backpack. <laughs> I actually just noticed it was on my door. Um, yes, this is my John Wick backpack. I do use this quite a lot. My dog is at the door. I use this quite a lot. It's amazing. It's fabulous. It took a long time to come, but we got there. Um, this is one of the newest clothing purchases. And it is my John Wick baseball jacket. This is the picture that's on the back. And on the front, it obviously has this john wick chronicles from what i'm aware john wick chronicles was actually a game that came out on vr um from what i've heard i've tried to do some research on it haven't found anything as of yet maybe i'm looking in the wrong places i don't know um okay we're getting to the last bit of like let's just, i do have t-shirts with john on them as well the only problem is they are in the wash, so today I've got Bill and Ted on. Um, okay. And then we're going to move on to the DVDs and stuff. This is my John Wick comic book. I think this is the first volume. I'm sure there's, I'm sure there's other ones, but this is the one I've got found. Um, this is also from Forbidden Planet. It's super cool. It's a proper comic book as well, so it's super cool actually. I have read it, by the way. Um, I'm reading it again because I actually really enjoyed it. Um, so yeah, okay, let's move on to DVDs. So there have been some new additions to the DVD section. There are probably ones that I showed in my last video, but I'm going to show them again because, like I said, I don't remember what I showed in the last video, and you know, there's a lot going on in the world right now. You know, it's. I'm not worrying about stuff I've shown in my last video when there's other bad stuff going on in the world, so. <sighs> okay, so my first one is Bill and Ted's Excellent Adventure. Um, it's a great film. It's probably my favourite out of the two. I got this off of eBay. Uh, I think it cost me around about £2, brand new, so that was good. But yeah, so I got this one. <clears throat> Um, one of the newest editions was Bill and Ted's Bogus Journey. I got this from a shop, again in the UK, called HMV. Uh, it's like a DVD, CD store for uh, people in America. I don't know if you have one. I don't think you do. I could be wrong. I mean, you could, but, you know, when, I, when I've been to America and stuff, I didn't see one. But I could, again, I could be looking in the wrong places. So this is the newest edition from HMV. This, I think, was probably the... M no, it was. this wasn't the most expensive. Uh, this one was £5.99. So, again, not the most expensive, but I have got one I could pay the quick 
pricey. Um, we've got speed. Uh, this one cost me a pound from my local pound shop. This is actually the first one I got. This was the first ever thing to go into the Keanu collection before the action figures, before the t-shirts and stuff. This was actually the first thing. And from there, it, it, it expanded to my newest edition. <laughs> I, get, I don't know why I got that, but I thought, why not? You know, I don't care. Listen, people will judge me for it. But honestly, I don't care. It makes my life happy. And I, I have mental health. So, you know, I suffer a lot with depression and anxiety. And, you know, I make myself happy by just making myself happy purchasing stuff that <laughs> makes me happy that you guys probably think's weird as hell but that's just me we all have strange things that we like to do this is one of mine um okay next one is the matrix i got this for a pound oh it says on the back i didn't take the price off i got it for a pound from a shop called fast cash it's like a UK pawn shop, shall we say? You know, where you can like take in watches and games and TVs and DVDs and all that sort of stuff. You know what I mean. Um, I believe maybe I did buy another one from there as well. Um, the next one is obviously the Matrix Reloaded. Um, I got this as well from the pound shop as well. So that's pretty cool for a pound. Uh, I think if I'm correct. Oh yeah, it is a double disc as well. And it's broken. I didn't realise that. I hope I didn't buy it broken. That would just like, break my heart. Um, <laughs> next one. The Matrix Revolutions. Also a pound from my power shop. And uh, if I'm correct. If this is also a double disc. And this one's not broken. What is this? Is this a poster? Oh no, okay. I thought it was a poster. Some DVDs come with three posters. I'm just saying. Oh, here's the other one. Um, so I've got all the Matrix films. But then I found this one that I've never heard of, which was The Matrix Revisited. And it has, like, an animated version on it. Uh, again, I got it from Fast Cash for a pound. Um, again, I've never heard of it, so I got it. I haven't watched it yet. Listen, I love the John Wick films. I've just been watching John Wick. But I will watch The Matrix because The Matrix 4 is coming out. I need to refresh my memory because I've not seen The Matrix for like... Since I was a teen. I'm 24 now. So a while. Yes! My favourite. Oh, sorry. <laughs> okay, so... I just want to warn people, I don't know if anyone's seen my last video, but in my last video there was a lot of duplicates of certain films and that's because my friends, uh, well especially John Wick 3, my friends did buy me, like my friend bought me it on Blu-ray, then one of my other friends bought me the a whole set and then my other friend bought me John Wick 3 on DVD because he didn't know I had it. Um, so I've got a lot of John Wick 3s, and I'm not getting rid of them, no. They're staying on my collection. But um, I've obviously got the first John Wick. Um, I got this from a store called Asda. For, Asda's kind of like Walmart for um, my fellow Americans and Canadians. It's kind of like Walmart, same thing, you know. I actually think my dad told me, I think it was my dad, he told me that kind of, um walmart and asda are like under the same like people or something i don't know i forgot i don't have a very good mind but um i got this from there and i think i paid about uh five pounds for this one so you know wasn't too bad um this is the first john wick i got and this is chapters one and two so this is the first one I got. I actually did want number one by itself. So when I did find it, obviously I got it. Um, but this is chapters one and two. Uh, for both of these, again from Asda, it cost me £7. Um, so I thought that was pretty cool. Um, yeah, I got John Wick 2 as well, even though I've got one and two in the same thing. But I got John Wick 2 as well. Um, 
I actually think I've got louder as well. I'm so sorry. Oh, God, it's open. Close! <laughs> um, this, I believe, was about six, seven pounds again from Asda. <laughs> I love Asda, apparently. Um, yeah. <clears throat> okay, now this is where the, 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 the duplicates come in now, okay? Uh, just a pre-warning, there's a lot of John Wick 3. Um, so, <laughs> this is the one my friend bought me. Even though I already had it on Blu-ray because my other friend brought it me on Blu-ray. But I'm not complaining. So, um, this is obviously John Wick 3. It's just a normal DVD. Uh, now, when I went in to have a look at this, I think I was in Tesco, actually. Tesco's a food shop in the UK. Um, I think i seen it when I was over in Tesco in Hinkley and... Um, I've seen it on the shelves for like £10, so I'm guessing he paid £10 for this, I'm guessing. Um, I was actually with my other friend when he bought this. Uh, ooh, this is John Wick 3, um, Blu-ray. I believe this as well was about £10, I don't know, I can't fully remember, but I think it was around about £10. Then I was greeted with John Wick 1, 2 and 3 box set um i actually checked how much this was because i was curious this was 15 pounds which is amazing for me okay um this is replicas i also bought this from asda and i think this was around about five pounds as well it does have keanu and it says at the top oh my god Something moved at the side of me. Are you coming to life? I wish you'd come to life. Um, five pounds from Asda, I believe. Uh, I'm sorry, I thought I had my collection in the wrong order for a second. I always have my DVDs in the right order. So I know when they've been tampered with. I know when someone's touched my collection. Anyway, this one, I think I spent the most on because I bought this one myself. Uh, this was Destination Wedding. Um, I think this was about £7. Yes, it was. From Sainsbury's, which is like another grocery store in the UK. Again, I've not watched this. <laughs> I really should. Especially now we're in isolation and stuff. I could probably get through my whole collection. You know, so... That's Destination Wedding, also stars Winona Ryder. I've got a Keanu's in it, come on now. And of course, um, the last of my DVD collection is Toy Story 4. There's Keanu at the top, as Duke Kaboom. Um, that's the only, again, the only reason I got it is because Keanu's in it. And um, that's what I do, I do that to myself. I, I do it. But I enjoy it, I have fun, so I don't see a problem with it. If I'm having fun, I don't see why not. Um, anyway, that is the end of this video. I try to make it as quick as possible. Um, I don't know what my next video is even going to be. Um, I don't know if there is going to be a next video, because I have literally nothing planned, because I'm just like, I don't know what's going on, corona-wise. It's, um, it's a very scary time. But hopefully if we all work together, we can get rid of the virus together and come out stronger. But, yeah. So, obviously, stay safe. Please stay inside if necessary. Um, and just keep safe. That's all I really you can do at this time. Um, so, yeah. But I hope everyone is doing well. And um, I hope I kind of entertained you. I probably didn't. But um, <laughs> it is what it is. We have to make do with what we've got sometimes. And um, God, I miss the outside world. Anyway, um, I've been Adventures with Fern. Thank you so much for watching this video. I do appreciate it. Um, please like and subscribe if you want. Uh, that would be cool. <laughs> But, um, yeah, like I said, I'll just randomly upload a video and that'll be it, I suppose. But um, I will see you all whenever the next video is.
please don't forget to love yourselves, stay spooky, stay safe, and peace out, brother.